What's up Diva fam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below we are doing a little bit of a unboxing here on my YouTube channel. Obviously the main item that we'll be talking about realistically is a boxy charm but I also wanted to include these two boxes that I actually got in PR recently um, just to kind of show them off to you guys just because like, I think it's cool. So yeah. Anyways without further ado you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to and don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl Senior D, and let's just go ahead and get into this. Alright, if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, hello, how are you? I would love for you guys to be a part of the hashtag DivaFam. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss any of my uploads, especially since we are in Vlogmas right now and we've got giveaways going on almost every other day. But outside of that, I do post videos, like I said, two or three times a week and I also do giveaways at least once a month. Also, I just finally hit 700 subscribers, so I'm super stoked about that. There will be a giveaway specifically just for that video as well. Um, and I will definitely make sure I make that worth your while. So for anyone who wants to be a part of any of those giveaways, um, I will always have my um, current giveaways linked down below, but I actually will have the Vlogmas playlist linked down below because um, those giveaways are a little bit shorter, so they're just kind of, I'm just kind of pushing them out here just to make sure I have enough time um, to get them done within the month of December, and then I'll ship them off the 1st of January just to kind of make it easier for myself and everyone else so there's no confusion whatsoever what's going to happen um, and when the winners will be picked and all that kind of jazz. So again, all the details will always be linked below in those giveaway videos. But for your those of you who haven't been here before, I don't know where I was going with that sentence, um, I do BoxyCharm and Ipsy unboxings here on my YouTube channel to um, basically kind of go through those products and if or kind of talk about what's in the boxes basically and then if I don't like any of those products that's what goes into a giveaway so you're definitely gonna definitely not going to want to miss the unboxing for December because that full unboxing which normally I always do for us will probably always will be probably an open giveaway just because again it is vlogmas and I'm here to give back to you guys as much as possible so let's go ahead and jump into the two boxes I have right here in my hand that I got from influencer so if you guys don't know what influencer is it is basically a um, I guess a brand or a website basically um, that handles um, like a major reviews and how where you can review stuff you will can also take surveys in order to get products for free so if you are the demographic the age range um, if you have the type of hair or skin type or whatever it may be or preferences in the um, I guess in the quizzes that other surveys that they take and they think that you'd be a perfect fit for their campaign basically then they will send you products for free for in order to review for them. Um, again, you kind of basically, you don't get paid for it, um, but you do get shipped products for free for your honest opinion, which I think is really cool. So if you guys are interested in signing up for Influencer, I will have it linked below. I will also have my link to signing up for BoxyCharm. I really don't get a kickback from either one of them. I don't think so. Besides BoxyCharm, maybe like a few points, and I think that's pretty much it. So let's just go ahead and talk about the two boxes that I have right here. So the small one we'll start off with. Um, again, I got these actually just a few days with any each other so I thought it was really cool for me to go ahead and unbox these um, so the first one I have right here this one actually is um, a campaign for philosophy so this is their grace is feeling intensely amazing um, perfume it is a joyful feminine vibrant grace is feeling intensive intensely amazing share your grace with the new amazing grace um, perfume it is a floral few oh my god floral fruity most intense version of our iconic fragrance that lasts all day with notes of juicy berries, rose absolute, and soft musk. So let's go ahead and open this up. So this is what it looks like. This is the perfume that I got right here. So again, I do have to actually fully open this up, um, kind of feel what the scent is. This is my first time opening it, so I've kind of been waiting to do it actually on camera with you guys. So let's see if I can get it. Let me see if I've got tweezers or something that make this easier. Oops, it's not what I wanted to do. Go ahead and rip this open. And then so once I actually get these products in the mail, it does say what I have to do on the back. It just says log into your influencer app, um, go to the Amazing Amazing Grace campaign, and obviously it'll leave you a review through the influencer app or whatever the campaign, campaign says you have to do. And then you have a limited time to actually complete that campaign. If you don't complete the campaigns though in the um, amount of time that it gives you, you can get penalized and then that's basically you not fulfilling your agreement that you said that you would do because basically they ask you if you are okay with um, 
posting on social media, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, um, or also posting your review, whether it's like on the Sephora website, the philosophy website where this perfume is from, or um, anything else, and just kind of giving your honest review about it. So we're gonna go ahead and do this right now. So this is what the bottle looks like, super pretty. You guys know I love perfumes. Um, so I was excited when I saw that I was getting this. Okay, initial, like it said, so let's go ahead and spray it. Right off the bat, I am getting that that rose scent. So when I sprayed it, I definitely smelled like a sweetness of berries. And then I'm kind of getting like the rose scent and then a slight hint of musk, like it says. So it's definitely a very... Oh my god. I'm just... It's definitely a good smelling perfume. So I definitely am happy I got this perfume because um, I think it did ask me like what my preferable scents were, like fruity, floral... Um, I definitely said I didn't like musky smells because this aren't my jam. Although I did buy the um, the dupe for the Tom Ford one. It's supposed to be really musky. I've got a love-hate relationship for it. So it is what it is. But yes, this is a really good smelling perfume. So if you like a nice floral scent, um, this would be a really good one to pick up. I don't know how much this costs. If I figure that out, I will put it on the screen for you guys. And then this is the other box that I got. A little bit bigger. But it's a pretty big box for what's actually in it. I'm surprised they didn't give me like a smaller box. So in this one, this is your next favorite thing is here. This is their winter care box box. Um, so there's three products that are actually going to be in here. So I've got a skincare item, which is the Skin um, 1004, the Untouched Nature. Uh, what is this? Madagascar Centennial Azita... Oh my god. Asia Taka Ampule Facial Serum. I think that's how you say that. Um, immediate, immediately comes in, hydrates the skin with the signature Ampule with a light watery with a light watery texture and no sticky formula. So this is the first product right here. Go ahead and open this up. You guys know how much I love skincare, so I wasn't really mad about this. Love, love, love skincare. All right, so it's in a plastic bottle. It does have a, a dropper to it, which this is what it looks like. Um, and it's 1.01 fluid ounces. Let's see what it smells like. It doesn't really have a scent to it, which I actually like because when there's scents to skincare, sometimes that kind of throws me off a little bit. Okay, so there's the first item. Then the next item here, so this is why this is a little bit weird for me, because like now I have something outside of like a beauty product. This is actually like a lifestyle product. This is the OxyClean Odor Blast um, Odor and Stain Remover. It's just basically meant to, uh, to wash your clothes with. So they sent this to me. It's available at Target and Walmart. Crazy part is I already use OxyClean, but I use the Tide OxyClean combo. So there's that. Then, uh, last but not least, they sent me a sample of three cotton, um, organic cotton tampons, which actually I've never used organic cotton tampons before. This is the Playtex Clean Comfort 360 Protection with a positive impact. I think it's crazy as though I just finished my period. So I hope this campaign's a little bit longer because my period's already gone and it won't come back until next year so there's that um, but it says the same comfort with 40 percent less plastic 100 percent organic cotton core plus the 360 protection you love it's versus um it says versus the pay the playtex sport regular absorbent tampons which is comparable to um so again this is the organic the organic cotton version compared to the other one which is made with plastic um, and then just says check your campaign for more important instructions regarding it. And then you can actually find all of these brands actually on Instagram. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. If I can zoom in, I can. Um, but yeah, all their um, all their Instagram handles are on here. And then they also sent me, let's see, what is this? A coupon maybe? Or it just talks about the two products that you can get with OxyClean. But again, OxyClean is in like Tide and Gain, I think, and all those other products. And that's basically what I use anyways. So we're good there. All right, so those are the two boxes that I got from um, Influencer, and let's go ahead and move on to BoxyCharm, which I know that's why you guys are all here for.
All right, so the actual star of the show is BoxyCharm right here for us. So this is BoxyCharm Premium. BoxyCharm Premium is where you get six full-size products. Again, I don't know how much I'm paying for this anymore. Originally, it was $30, and now I think it's like $38, pushing $40. Somewhere in that range. I get it. Inflation, whatever happened to the world, happened to the world, and now we're all paying for it. So it is what it is. I get prices have to go up. Um, but yeah, so this is what the box looks like on the inside. Again, it does say BoxyCharm Premium, and then we just lost the card. Uh, the card says BoxyCharm, tis the season for being extra. So that, again, there are six full-size products in here. So starting off right off the top, we have a product from um, Grown Alchemist. So we have had this brand in our Ipsy in our BoxyCharm before. It says this is an anti-pollution primer. Probiotic peptide anti pollution shield complex extract. Yada yada yada. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to do. It says a lightweight primer formulated for anti pollution shield complex um, with antioxidants to visibly restore the healthy glow and smooth facial skin texture. It glides onto your skin instantly and blurs the appearance of wrinkles and pores, noticeably increasing the hydration level and protecting the skin with the trans. Oh my god. Trans. Brighter mole water loss. Don't don't come for me because I couldn't read that. Uh, prebiotic peptide visibly improves the skin texture, giving it hydration. Um, a bunch of other stuff in here. So this is worth. Where are you at? Forty two dollars for a primer, and this is not even a well known brand. Like I'm sorry, you're shitting me. Every single time I get this brand, I feel like I'm always, like, flabbergasted just because it's just... It's not a well-known brand. I get probably the products that are in it um, are probably making it that price. And then where is this even made from? It's 0.69 fluid ounces. I'm just trying to figure out where it's freaking made from. It has all the different... It doesn't say. Maybe it says it on the bottle. I feel like sometimes it has to say it on the bottle, right? It's a product that's made in Germany. So there's that. Maybe we're also paying like imports. I don't know. Import cost. Who freaking knows? Um, but I have so many primers right now at the moment. This will be the first item that goes into the giveaway. Okay. Next, we've got Complex Culture, which we always get in these boxes. Um, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am a little bit sometimes. Uh, also, this month, I forgot to choose my products. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a mystery for me. Um, so we've got Complex Culture, and this is $40 for their brush trio. So there are three brushes that are in here, if I can get it out. Um, three brushes. This is what they look like. Super cute, got a matte gray finish with a little bit of gold hardware. Um, I don't need any more brushes. I have enough brushes. So this is gonna go into the giveaway as well. But always um, make sure when you guys get your brushes, you always wash them first and don't go right ahead and using them. Just a word of the wise when you buy new brushes, wash them first and antibacterial soap and then go ahead and let them dry and use some. So this is gonna go into the giveaway as well. Alright, next item here we have Ciate London Watermelon Dew Setting Spray. So Ciate London I feel like used to be sold in Ulta. Is it even still sold in Ulta at all? Um, and is this brand just like thriving because it used to be a really a really well known brand. Um, and is it just thriving still because of BoxyCharm and Ipsy because we get it in there? I'm just curious. But I feel like I've gotten so many items from like the watermelon collection. Um, we've literally gotten... The, like a setting spray, we've gotten a primer, we've gotten, I feel like some skincare maybe. I don't know, I feel like I've given away a bunch of different stuff, but we've never got the setting spray. So I'm actually really excited about this. Um, it looks super duper cute. It says the setting spray is $22, which is around the same price I feel like as the all nighter spray, maybe that's $18. And then, like, Charlotte Tilbury is, like, pushing more. I feel like the Rare Beauty one's around that same price. So, just as a delicate, scented, ultra-fine mist that helps maintain hydration, keeps makeup up, and has a naturally dewy finish. So, I'm super excited for this. Does it smell like watermelon? Okay, so it's a little bit of a fine mist. 
Oh, and it smells like watermelon. That feels nice on the face. Also, I didn't even check my makeup before I started filming. I just started filming. Um, this is the makeup I've been wearing since about like 2 o'clock. And the current time, I think, is like 11.30. So there's that. So we're definitely keeping this, taking it out of the box. Um, also, I've started my declutter series. If you guys haven't seen that, again, that's in the Vlogmas playlist um, for sure. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out because I've been decluttering a lot of makeup. Um, and at the end of that declutter series, you already know that I'm giving away more stuff. Um, and I just did my eyeshadow palette decluttering, and I'm giving away two eyeshadow palettes in that one. Um, which, again, should be up ready by the time this video goes up anyway. I think it's the one right before this one. So, make sure you go ahead and check that out. Um, Alright, so the next product, as I talk about eyeshadow palettes, here's one right here. Um, but this is the Tres Luce Beauty Midnight Desos um, Palette. And this is the brand owned by Becky G. So she came out with her own beauty brand. Again, um, she's a Latin artist, a Latin um, singer. I think she raps a little bit too sometimes. She started off, um, I think her start was on YouTube first and then she kind of got well known and then she caught out with a few bangers on like the pop charts and then she kind of did a a complete 360 and just went back to her roots and went straight to like singing and um, and rapping in Spanish so that is what she does but this is what the palette looks like first off the front can we give that an applause it's so pretty so pretty and the fact that I think I laugh about this that I got this palette because I think either someone had to watch my video or something because I got the Ipsy Glam Bag X and that was supposed to be cur curated by her. And I got the same highlighter palette that I'd gotten the month before, before that came out, that release. And I didn't get the eyeshadow palette that I really wanted, which is from her brand, which is the bigger one, the blue one. But now I got this one in here. So somehow someone was listening, someone made it right. So thank you so much, whoever you are, or if it was just by fate, it was just by fate. So we're going to go ahead and take it out of the box because I do need to keep the box. I know I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep that. So there is that. Then we've got, what is this? Um, Beauty for Certain Perfect Collab. This is a new launch. And also so was the Therese Luce was a new launch as well. Exclusive to Boxing Charm. And that was a $35 palette. This right here is a, what is this? Uh, part two what part two bronze um, it says pencil eyeliner set perfect combo okay also just so you guys know a trick to opening these up so you don't break the top grab a pair of tweezers pops right on open how things that you learn as an adult after you've been like opening packages for the longest time um, okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It does have a little bit of like a copper bronzy tone to it. That is what it looks like as well. So there's that. And then we have, I think this is just a basic black eyeliner. Part one is, oh, this is navy. Okay, so this is a navy eyeliner. Um, kind of cool. Not things that I normally would use. I would say that. Um, for sure not but I don't really have that many eyeliners that are like that so very interesting um, and the last thing is by the brand called make and this is a serum balm $26 it is a lip serum product provides instant hydration while softening and smoothing and plumping formulated with a natural lip voluminizing ingredients derived from biomolecular extraction from pomegranate flowers along with liquefied jojoba wax this lip conditioning treatment adds as a luxurious long-lasting sheen and cushion okay cool let's go ahead and open that up we can and see what it looks like okay so it's in this like white and gold packaging um you can't really see the color so we're gonna go ahead and open that okay so it is clear. It says it's supposed to be a lip serum with like a flush of color. Um, I do have lip balm already on my lips. So we can go ahead and just swatch this on my hand. 
So that's what it looks like. It does say it's supposed to be plumping. So I hope that that doesn't start stinging on my hand. We're just going to get that off on my sweatpants. It doesn't really have a scent to it either. Here, I just put it on. I don't care. It does feel really lightweight, so that's good. There's no tingle. So for plumping, I don't really think it does that. Um, but it's still a nice like lip serum, lip balm lip serum. Um, so we'll keep that since I already put it on anyways. All right, so that was the end of this unboxing. So the two products that are going into the giveaway for this month are these two items. This is the Grown Alchemist um, Anti-Pollution Primer and then the Complex Culture Brush Set, the Trio Set. Um, so how much was this box actually worth? So let's go ahead and add this up really quickly. So that right there is, that's 50, that's 60, okay. And then plus another 60, so that's 120, 66, so 126. And then 126, so we've got 168. And then plus 35, so 168 plus 35, $203. That's not bad, but I just feel like some of these products are a little overpriced for what they actually are. The Tres Luce palette, $35, that's actually not bad at all. Um, saying like the Norvina palettes are like basically, how much are those ones? I think those are like 50 something dollars. But then we have that primer that's like $40, I think that's stupid, $42. The brush set for those three brushes, $40, are you kidding me? Pretty sure you can find brushes like that at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx and they're a lot cheaper and just as nice. Um, the Hydrating Lip Balm, $26, like the one from, uh, R.E.M. Beauty, which is, uh, a lip, a, a lip oil, or also the one from, like, Jaclyn Hill, I think those are, like, within, like, the $18 to $15 range, like, those are really cheap. This Yachty London Setting Spray, again, $22 really isn't that bad, but I feel like it should just be a little bit less. And then the two eyeliners are $38, like, that's just, that's outrageous. Just a little bit outrageous for like two eyeliners by a company that not many people really know about anyways. So that is the end of this giveaway. Uh, or that's not this giveaway. So that is the end of this video. Let me know what your, what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I'd definitely like to know your guys' opinions. Am I right? Am I wrong? Like are some of these, I feel like the items that we get in these boxes are just a little bit overpriced. Um, and I think it's just dumb. I think it's dumb. But we get what we pay for at the same time in the day. I'm only paying $40 um, for all these products. And just the two Ciate London and the eyeshadow palette alone already made it worth this box just in general. So there's that. Also, if you guys want to sign up for Influencer, don't forget to make sure you guys go ahead and do that in the um, link down below. Or if you guys are already part of it, um, let me know. I'd like to know your thoughts about it. Are you getting a lot of stuff? Do you guys not get a lot of stuff? Have you been doing the surveys? Have you been active on the app? Um, I just kind of want to know. I really don't know that many other people that have actually ever been on Influencer. And I kind of forget how I even found out about it, which is weird. Um, anyways, okay, that is the end of this video. So I love you guys so, so much. So you know the gist. If you like videos like this, this video, big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Sandy, and I'll see you in the next one.